Hi guys, so welcome to another video. Today's a video we have a wig video. I won't call it a tutorial. I purchased a wig from Sam Beauty by Altre. You'll see the name and stuff shortly. But yeah, I purchased it probably about maybe a week or so ago and I wanted to give it a try. But yeah, this is the wig. So let's jump right into the details because I know I like to ramble, ramble, ramble. Although sometimes I do. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye. Mm -hmm. Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video is a wig review. It's a wig I purchased from Sam's Beauty and it's by Altre. And it's the perfect hairline wig. I'm showing you the box. And it's in the name Everett. I swear, I don't know where they come up with these wig names at. Everett, I don't know what they say, Everett. And I always get a number two because I feel like, of course, a one is always too dark for me. And a 1B with synthetic wigs tend to be too dark. So I always get a number two. So I'm just showing you this wig says it's 26 inches lace frontal with transparent lace HD. No plucking required. Heat resistance. Safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. It has an adjustable... Um, elastic band, back combs for a secure fit, a realistic hairline. Here I am. I'm just trying it on because I wanted to see how it looked or how the hairline looked just to show you all how it looks before I actually tint it with some foundation powder. I'm just showing you the hairline really does look really, really good. I didn't even plug it. Y'all know I didn't go back and plug anything. <laughs> I haven't made it to that part of my life to where I'm plucking and everything, all that good stuff too. But this was good enough for me. So I'm taking my Juvia's Place Bronzer Duo in Deep Dark. And I'm taking the lighter shade in there to um, tip my lace with. I find that when I use a bronzer, a darker shade, it looks more natural than when I use my foundation shade so I tend to like to use something that's darker so here I am showing y'all <laughs> the wig and how it looks I think I probably could have pulled it like further up on my forehead like I felt like I had it pushed back too far but I can always put it back on and we can try it again some other time so I decided that I wanted to do you can part this because it's what 13 by 6 yeah 13 by 6 ear to ear soft HD transparently so you can get a middle part a side part but I decided I wanted a curved side part since I hadn't had one of those in a while so here I am just showing you all how the parting there it is how deep the parting is you know you don't get the six inches on the side you get like four on the side six in the middle but I wanted to go as deep as I could with that part my parts are never, ever, ever straight. <laughs> yeah, so here I am just um, trying to part it, trying to get a curved part at that. And then I'll take my hot comb, which, which, oh no, I'm not taking that yet. Slow down, Nana. Moving too fast. I'm taking the Ibn Lace Spray, and this is the sensitive one. If you've ever tried the black can, the red can, like they work, they do good. But if you get this gold can, it's going to lay your lace for days. For days. It says it's for sensitive skin. I don't know what they have in this gold can, but this gold can is amazing. It lays lace perfectly and I think I got mine from Amazon so I got mine from Amazon for like seven or eight dollars now it is kind of pricey when you think about a hairspray but I feel like you will have this forever like you this is not something that you'll use in like a month or not even two months not unless you just spray all day and night but yeah <laughs> so here i am just spraying it trying to get the lace melted or whatever guys anything that y'all see me doing i have learned by looking at youtube videos just looking at tutorials learning along the way and now i'm going to cut my ear tabs off that's the one thing i can't stand about weave and um wigs and all that good stuff like i gotta cut that place by the ear and sometimes like you could say i was almost like if i would have went an inch further i was gonna be i was gonna it was gonna be too short 
but I was just right. Like, I felt like that was okay for me, right where I cut it at. Like, I don't want it any further down. So, yeah, I got to get it from, like, by my ears. That irritates me. So, I'm just making sure the cap fits, which I think my head is a 21.5. Like, when I order wigs, I usually get, like, a medium size um, wig cap. Definitely never a large, which, you know, a large is, like, a 23. So, I always tend to get, like, a medium, which I could probably do, like, a 21 and a half to a 22. And I do, I could do 22 because I'll never braid down my hair. Like it's always, yeah. Like right now when I'm putting on this wig, my hair isn't braided down. So I, it probably wouldn't have been that bulky in the top if I had braided my hair down, but I ain't got time for that. So anyway, so yeah, I'm just melting it, pushing my comb in to make sure that the lace is sticking, which the lace, the lace is super, super thin. It's not that thick, hard lace, so I can appreciate that. So I'm just using a band to tie it down, and here I go with this stupid hot comb. I hate these hot combs. I like my stove hot comb. Let me know if you have a hot comb and if it gets really, really hot, like an electric one, because I've had like maybe three or four of these electric hot combs, and I never found one that was like, oh, this gets hot. It gets hot. This thing is like lukewarm. It's not laying down the thing, but the thing is my one that I have in the stove, I will have to plug it up, keep running back and forth to the bathroom to take it out the oven, then come back to the camera and take it out the oven. So I only use that one, like if I'm not like recording or whatever, but I need a good hot comb, one that's gonna work and not clunk out after two or three months. So yeah. So here I am, I took the little band thing off so I could see the edges and really see what I was working with. And I thought the hair was like really, really bouncy and the layers in it was top notch. One thing about synthetic wigs, now if y'all haven't noticed, they know how to cut some layers in and you don't have to worry about the curls dropping or moving. Those curls don't go nowhere. I don't know what they um, roll these curls up with or make these curls in these synthetic wigs, but they don't go nowhere. Them curls be in there forever, ever and ever. Now I'm taking my little mini scissors to cut it off and um, I cut it in sections because I wanted to be really, really careful. I didn't want to mess up by just like cutting it straight across. So I'm taking my eyebrow razor and just cutting around the edges there to make sure that it's kind of jagged. And as you can see, the lace is still kind of somewhat semi kind of light, but that's still okay. That's okay because I'm gonna put some more powder on it and spray it some more, and then we're gonna melt it down and it'll be all good. But y'all see that, I, gotta, I probably gonna put it up a little bit more. Cause like my forehead is like real big, so I probably gonna put it a little bit more on my forehead, but I don't care. I like to try wigs, like, I, oh, my forehead looks so huge. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like, now why did you even put on the wig? Your forehead is still showing out there. But once the bang, once I put my bang to the side, you really can't see my forehead like that. But anyway, so yeah, I'm taking the same dry hot comb to try to melt or push it down. And that's how I decided to use some of my Aussie Free Spray or well, Volume Spray to spray on it to see if it'll lay down. You know, the synthetic and the hot comb. It probably was like on 400, like what it said, if not 450. It didn't melt or burn any of the hair off. So now that I'm sitting here looking at it, that probably goes to show you that this thing was not even that hot, right? It didn't even burn the hair off at anything. So I'm taking my Maybelline Super Stay Powder to put it in my part, and this is in the shade Coconut. I like a dark part also. I don't like light parts, and I don't like and I don't like really, really wide parts, and I don't like really thin parts. I like my parts to be natural and average looking. So now I'm taking out a little tiny bit, just a little tiny bit, and I call myself doing some baby hairs. Some baby hairs gave me the business. I don't know. See, that's... <laughs> 
when you're looking at YouTube and you think, oh, I can do that. I'm using some fluff and stuff by Erica J and some Maui um, edge control. You're like, oh, I can do that. They make it look so easy, honey. Them baby hairs was like, what are you swooping or what are you doing? I don't even know why I got that one right there in the middle of my forehead. Then I decided to do one on the side and I don't know how that came out. But I was like, well, it's here now. And even if it, I don't like the baby hair, it's like next time I put the wig on, I could just brush them up, you know, into the hair and you won't be able to tell. But I need to, put, next time I need to pull that wig like forward. Like, what was I doing? okay guys we are back with the makeup done video will be out with the hair done as y'all can see i was struggling with these baby hairs but that's okay we'll get it eventually i really didn't need baby hairs but i wanted to try something different so i'm going to show y'all the hairline i still got my comb so as you can see it looks really really natural in my opinion I probably need to put some a lighter powder there, but I'm not one for like a real light, light uh, part. I like my part to be kind of dark that mimics my skin tone. But yeah, the hair, it feels really, really good. It's, you could tell that it's yakky, but it's one of those soft yakky textures. And as you can see the layers in it, the layers are cut phenomenally like it's layers on top of layers like this would be i went in the bathroom mirror before i came back and i'm like at first at first glance you would think that this was a sewing like i went and i got a sewing and for 40 dollars like it's long 26 inches i'm gonna stand up in a minute 26 inches is long on me like it goes almost to my stomach <laughs> yeah but i mean if you enjoy really really long hair then this would be perfect for you i'll probably cut it till about 18 inches just to make it more wearable for me but if you're used to um really long hair you'll love this i didn't get any shedding Believe it or not, I was expecting shedding. The tangles, of course, you're going to get some tangles. It's long, it's yakky, but it's not tangles to where I'm trying to force it to get untangled. Like just brushing, using the brush to brush it through, everything was fine. I think the parting spade, and y'all saw me use the hot comb, and the hot comb is on the highest setting, and I don't feel like it damaged the hair or anything at all. So, yeah. Let me know if you have this wig, if you plan on checking it out. Yeah, I like it. I think it just gave me like a sewing look. To be honest, y'all know I be trying anything. I'll try anything any day of the week. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.